Hey guys, welcome back to another member build. Now we have a palisand here with the ghost type terror and the held item shell bell to restore health and more damage we deal. This is an updated build and it was a member build, so we moved it straight to the top of the queue. We have EVs and special attack and HP, modest nature, max IVs and everything except attack and the ability water compaction, where if we get hit by a water type move, it boosts our defense by two stages. This is great because water we are weak to water before we terrestrialize. <clears throat> now we've not gone with a physical build here, even though we have curse because curse will just cut our HP in half while we are a ghost type that means we need at least three attacks on the opponent before we can set up and it's just not ideal so we've gone the special attacking route with a shadow ball 20% chance to reduce the special defense we decided not to go with earth power because that's only a 10% chance to lower the special defense <clears throat> Sure, up to restore health. So what the idea is use amnesia or iron defense. Then you show up if needed if they get a big hit on you. And then we can just go into attacking and hopefully get some special defense drops. Okay, it looks like we have a six star ghost type avalug. Let's begin, see how it goes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna use iron defense. Are we faster? We are okay, both slow Pokemon. Oh, um, I'm glad that we are faster though, because he'll probably use a strong ice type. Oh, he sets up his snow skate first. That's right, so that was a free iron defense, it looks like. So we've got that plus two defense. Now we're just going to start to use a Shadow Balls. Okay, so here's the first one. Hopefully we get some special defense drop, like multiple during this raid. Do we get one? We don't. Drifflim is using Shadow Ball as well, so I'm hoping that the Drifflim can get some. Did it get one? Drifflim got one, we didn't, that's great. Uh, as long as we get like one every couple of turns, we should be okay. There we go, there's another. Do we get it that time? We don't, it's fine. Is he just going to use Snowscape? Is this one of the Snowscape spells? I've not actually fought Avalug in a while, I think. I can't remember fighting it last anyway. So we have two chances every single turn of dropping the special defense because of Drifflim, which is amazing. Okay, and we're just going to keep using Shadow Balls until we get our Threshalize now because we're not going to do any damage while we don't have our Threshalize. We get a special defense shot that time, so... We got one in three, that's not too bad. On average you get like one in five. But I feel like you get a bit more than that. Like, it seems like I get one every maybe three-ish on average. Like, just in raids in general. Sometimes I'll get it back to back, sometimes I'll get one and then not get one for like five turns. It all depends on the luck during that raid. But most of the time you should be okay, you should get enough to actually win the raid. Unless there's some shenanigans going on. Okay, so we have to rationalize it into our ghost type. <clears throat> We're going to use Shadow Ball now to see how much damage this one does. It does a lot of damage, a third of the actual uh, shield health, and we get a special defense drop. Is he going to remove negative effects here? Hopefully not. He uses Iron Defense. That doesn't affect us, though. Okay, so he raises defense by two stages. We're going to use Shadow Ball here. This is going to do more damage because we did get a special defense drop. So let's see how much this does. I don't think it will break the shield. No, it does a lot of damage though. Next attack will break the shield. Ooh, maybe not. He removes negative effects from himself. Okay. Drifflim switch to Will Wisp. I kind of was hoping it'd just use Shadow Ball all raid, but you can't always have it your way. So we're gonna oh it is switched back to Shadow Ball. And we're using Shadow Ball, so hopefully one of them two Shadow Balls will reduce the special defense. We do break the shield. Do we get a special defense shot? I don't think we got one. Okay, that's fine. Icicle crash, that's gonna hurt. Okay, oh no, we're not a ground type anymore, so it's not going to hurt that much. And I don't think he nullified. He nullified now. What we're going to do is we're going to switch to pain defense just for one turn, because Avalanche could hurt us. I don't want that to happen, because Avalanche is a very strong move. <clears throat> nullified again, really? Did that just happen? We just get nullified again. I guess we're using iron defense again. I just want to be safe. That's it, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we're our defense. I can't believe he nullified twice that quick. What's he on? Special defense, what are you saying? Minus two. Okay, does this finish? I don't... Maybe? We are crystallized. Does this finish? Okay, let's see how much damage we can do. Yes, it does finish. Over half the time remaining, amazing. Even the Pokemon that don't have set up necessarily, if they have a move like Shadow Ball, then you can actually get the job done quite well even though you don't have setup, so don't underestimate these Pokemon, they do a good job when, you know, you give them a chance. Especially this Pokemon, it has Iron Defense and Amnesia, a great combo. 
just take no damage from anyone, pretty much. So let's see if we get anything. Is this one of the good raids? No, I think this was just Solly. I thought it was an L5, but maybe not. Let's move on to the second raid. Okay, so we have a six star psychic type Bombardier. We got what type this is. Maybe a flying and rock or a flying and dark or something like that. We'll just begin, see how it goes. Okay, it's a dark and flying type. It has knockoff acrobatics and rock slide. Okay, let's see how this goes. So we're going to use aim defense because <coughs> it is a physical attacker. So we're going to use a key using knockoff. I'm not going to actually knock off a whole critical hit. Yeah, terrible. Okay, but at least we got the defense, and this is why we have short up. So we're going to use short up. Knock off. Don't get this crit. Thank you. We're going to get back on a mani manageable amount of health. And that means that if he gets another crit, then it won't take us out. Amazing. Okay, and now we switch to Shadow Ball. This is why we have Iron Defense. Barely any damage there. But we can just keep using Shadow Ball. I don't think you can get your item knocked off in raids. So, we'll see. Will I get health back? Yeah, you can get your item knocked off. I'm pretty sure you couldn't, but... You always second guess yourself while you're in the moment. Okay, we're going to use another Shadow Ball. Uh, we get hit with another knockoff, that's fine. I'm hoping we get a special defense drop soon. Okay, do we get one? There's a Shadow Ball. We do a tiny bit of damage each time. We're just trying to get our Terror at the minute. We get some more health back. He's doing more damage to us than we are getting health back. So we do need a special defense drop at some point in this raid. Okay, he takes us to 245. I suppose we don't. We could just keep doing this. And then we could use Shore Up when we get to it really low. But I would prefer a special defense drop. We don't get one in the free, first three attacks. He steals Terra Charge. Annoying. We was about to Terra. He uses Knockoff on Sylveon. That must have been a trigger move, that one. Okay. Now we're going to use another Shadow Ball because we can't Terrestrialize yet. I wonder if we'll heal more than he does after we Terrestrialize and get the extra stab damage. We use Shadow Ball again. Taking him to do just over half, get some health back. He's going to do a lot of damage when he nullifies, that's for sure. Okay, we're going to trash the lies and use Shadow Ball here. Now, just in case he does nullify, I don't want to go below half like, at any point, really. I'm hoping this will even things out and we'll get back the same amount that he does, or if not, a bit more. Okay, let's see. He uses knockoff, takes us to 258. We was on 288. Let's see what actual um, health we're on. There we go. Nearly forgot what I was going to say there. Okay, so we do a bit of damage. Do we get the drop? We're just getting unlucky. Okay, we get back more health than he uh, deals damage. He puts the shield up. Does he do anything else? He might be on minus to attack, depending. Sylveon does have charm. Is he on minus? To yeah, he is. Okay. I, was, I had a feeling he was doing less damage. I wasn't too sure, though. He uses acrobatic. Okay, we're fine with that. Acrobatics won't do as much damage as knockoff, I don't think. Okay, we've got the Shadow Ball doing a bit more damage. Imagine we get we finally get a special defense drop and he just removes negative effects. We don't get one that time. Oh, imagine if we did and he did that then. I guess we just keep using Shadow Ball and eventually we'll get there. Okay, he uses knockoff. Oh, that did a bit more time. Oh, a bit more time, a bit more damage because the arm. Um, uh, went because he removed negative effects and his attack is back to normal. Please give us just give us a special defense drop. Like I said, this is one of them raids. Uh, I said last raid, sometimes you just get really unlucky, and this is one of them times because we are barely getting any. We, we've not got one special defense drop in like six attacks. And it's pretty unlucky. He uses knockoff. We're going to use iron defense because he did nullify there, which is a very frustrating. Honestly, like, if you was to, if you had teammates, you could even use a uh, chilling water, get yourself to max defense straight away. That'd be a fun, fun raid. It's because of our ability. Every time you get hit with a water type move, your defense goes up by two stages. Get max defense turn one, that'll be fun. Okay, so we Shadow Ball, doing a bit more damage. Can we get a special defense drop? Finally, we got one. We finally got one. Watch now, it removes. We finally got one though, and now we can do more damage. So, unless he crits here, we're, we're good to go. Oh, I was scared then. I was like, please don't. Please don't crit. That would have been the worst. 
I'm hoping that this breaks the shield now that we get a special defense drop, and that way we can get a free turn. It doesn't break the shield. Oh, we get another special defense drop, two in a row. I would have preferred one earlier and then one now, but I'm not complaining too much. Feather Dance, who's that hitting? Is that in hack for us, okay. That's not too bad. As long as he doesn't crit here, we're fine. And even if he does, I think we're still fine because we don't raise our own stats and we would have been able to take it out in time when we come back. Here's another Shadow Ball. This one will break the shield and boom. Uh, it does a decent amount of damage. Next turn will be the end of the raid. I'm hoping. Okay, so the shield breaks. Now we get a free turn. Does he have any trigger moves? Doesn't look like it. He's not going to remove negative effects either, so... This Shadow Ball should be the end of the raid. We got pretty unlucky and we still had a lot of time remaining. As you can see, I think that's about a quarter to a third of the time remaining, maybe closer to a third. Pretty good stuff there. Did we get anything from this one? I think this one drops either salty or spicy. I can't remember out of the two though. Watch now, I'm just completely wrong and it gives us a different miscue. But it'll probably give us none. I'm not feeling today. I'm, I'm not feeling lucky. Okay. That's going to be our Palatand updated build. I hope whoever requested it enjoys it. I'm sorry that I don't quite remember. There's quite a lot of requests that comes in, so I don't remember who requests each one. But this was the member updated build. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Let me know if you guys are going to use it. If you want to check out the last build we did, it was a Backscalibur. I'll put it on screen right now. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video. It does go a long way. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more builds. And I'll catch you on the next one.